Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Michelle Untulan Sabubo and for today's episode, I am going to talk about effective business communication. And in this video, you are going to learn about the definition of effective business communication, the seven C's of effective business communication, the essentials of effective business communication, and the ways to communicate effectively in the workplace. And so, without further ado, welcome to today's learning session. Communication is an essential part of our daily lives. It is how we express our feelings, share our thoughts and ideas, and connect to others. But first, uh, let us define effective communication. So, effective communication is defined as the process of exchanging, transmitting ideas, information, thoughts, knowledge, data, opinion, or messages from the sender through a selected method or channel to the receiver with a purpose that it can be understood with clarity. So effective communication is a cyclic process that starts with the sender and also ends with the sender because uh, the sender will receive a response or feedback from the receiver of the information or the messages so communication can occur in multiple forms and so we have here the different forms of communication we have verbal communication nonverbal communication written communication and visual communication verbal communication uses spoken words to exchange information emotions and thoughts and now let's take a look on this video good afternoon Welcome to the Westcliff Hotel. How may I help you? I have a reservation for today. It's under the name of Langham. Can you please spell that for me, sir? Of course. It's L-A-N-G-H-A-M. Ah, yes, Mr. Langham. We've reserved a double room for you with a sea view for two nights. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Here's your key. You are in room 237 on the second floor. You can take the lift or the stairs over there. Right. And what time is breakfast? Breakfast is served from 7 to 9 in the dining room. Okay, thanks. My pleasure, sir. Have a wonderful stay at the Westcliff Hotel. While nonverbal communication uses body language, gestures, facial expressions, tone of voice to convey a message. For example, and, uh, you, you, me, gun, shoot, oh, yeah. three shots. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Written communication is any written message that two or more people exchange. So this is more formal but less efficient than oral communication. So we have here the examples of written communication. So we have memorandum orders, job advertisement, emails, brochures, and among others. Visual communication is the use of visual elements to convey ideas and information. So this includes pictures, images, signs, symbols, or graphic designs. And now let us proceed to the seven C's of effective business communication. These seven C's has been developed to ensure that we communicate with our peers effectively and efficiently so communication must be clear correct complete concise concrete coherent and courteous for it to be effective when you are trying to build effective communication you must ensure that your communication is clear and the receiver does not have to assume things to interpret your message clear communication helps to save time and effort from both ends Second, always make sure that your communication is correct, free of mistakes and errors. Remember to always spell check and proofread the message before communicating it to the receiver and ensure that the technical terms being used are understandable to the receiver. Third, communication must be complete because an incomplete message wastes a lot of time and effort and often creates misunderstanding. Fourth, Good communication involves our message being prim and proper, so we must stick to the point of what we are trying to communicate and we should not beat around the bush. Our message or communication must be accurate to make it effective. Fifth, 
communication must be concrete so before making a statement or trying to communicate with the other person we will make sure that our idea is concrete so that it will lead to a better statement to convey our listeners sixth communication must be coherent we cannot be an effective communicator if we become illogical while communicating so our communication needs to have a logical flow in order to make it effective. Statements and messages should be interconnected to the previous exchange of messages so that we can stick to the main topic and not divert the attention of the receiver. This will help the receiver to keep track of what the topic is and what it is that we want to convey. Lastly, communication must be courteous. Courteousness is a necessity to maintain a healthy working relationship. Arguments, insults, and fights among colleagues will result to bad morale and will eventually lower the productivity of the organization. And now, let us proceed to the third topic of today's episode, which is the essentials of effective business communication. To it, effective business communication is essential for employee management, team building, organizational growth, strong relationship, ascertaining transparency and developing trust, facilitating creativity and innovation, and lastly, reducing misunderstanding. Managers are out to be good communicators and they are supposed to inform their team members and employees of what is expected from them. Second, a more cohesive and effective team will stand with the encouragement of effective communication in an organization so it will boost the morale of the employees and team members so employees will be happy to perform their roles with the idea they are more clearly informed about the organizational vision third with proper communication Organizations tend to grow as it removes all the discrepancies that are related to information, data, and messages. So as a result of this, it increases the profit and productivity of the company and it also builds goodwills among the customers. Fourth, good relationships are built and maintained with the help of encouraging positive interactions with other employees and team members and that can only happen if you have the skills of effective communication fifth companies remain more transparent with constant internal and external communication transparency and trust are integral parts of organizational process especially when dealing with tough decision making sixth Creativity and innovation can only take place when employees feel free to communicate their new and innovative ideas to their higher management. With the help of effective communication, we can make our employees comfortable so that they can feel free to speak their new ideas and integrate cooperation. Lastly, effective business communication reduces misunderstanding. Alright, we are down to the last topic for today's episode, which is the ways to communicate effectively in the workplace. According to Julia Martins, knowing how to communicate in the workplace is a key part of effective collaboration. This communication can happen face-to-face, -face, in writing, or over a video conferencing, or even in a group meeting. And these are the few tips to communicate effectively in the workplace. First, we must know what, when, where, and whom to communicate. Second, we must know how to build collaboration skills for effective teamwork. And by this, we need to practice open and honest communication. Third, we must talk face-to-face -face as we can. Tone can be difficult to communicate through writing, so it is ideal for our team members to see our facial expressions and body language. However, if our team is remote or distributed, communicating via phone call could work as well. Fourth, we must watch our body language and tone of voice. Communication isn't about what we say, but it is also about how we say it. Fifth, we must prioritize a two-way communication. Listening is just as important as talking or communicating. So part of being a collaborative team member is 
listening to other people's ideas instead of just trying to put our own ideas. Sixth, we must stick to facts, not stories. And according to Diana Chapman, facts are the things that have actually happened, things that everyone in the room would easily agree on. Story, on the other hand, is our own interpretation of the situation. Hence, we must separate these two to avoid miscommunication or misunderstanding within the group. Seventh, we make sure that we are speaking to the right person. And lastly, we must frequently ask for feedback. So even though communication in the workplace impacts every other interaction, team members may not immediately think of it as something to provide feedback on. So by this, we can continue to improve and develop clear communication strategies for the team. That would be all for today's episode. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching, guys. I hope you learned how important effective communication, especially in business. So if you have any comments, suggestions, clarifications, please don't hesitate to leave a comment or ask a question. Thank you. Activity time.